Hey YouTube, good news. The government says it's going to shut down. It's about time, isn't it? Actually, this is what I think should happen. Don't pay them any attention. You know what? We can even ask and start telling, calling those senators and stuff saying, we don't want you to have no salary either. We're not going to pay taxes anymore. We actually believe you're guilty of treason, all of you. And we have some accommodations on Plum Island waiting for you. I mean, you think about it. Think about everything they've done. Government itself, the word means to govern, means to control, meant, or mind. What does that mean? Come on. Mind control agents. Really, I've been waiting for them to pack their bags for a long time. They keep saying it. They're like them bullies on the schoolyard. Those bullies that demand your lunch money, you know. And one day they just say, well, we're going to leave. You'll no longer be safe anymore and you don't have to pay us anymore. We're going to leave. And y'all can just play on the playground. You think that's going to happen? You think that President Obama, with all this, you know, his all-seeing powerful ways... What, he's on a perpetual vacation all the time, like the rest of them. They take more vacations than me and you'll ever see in our lifetime um, on, our, on our dime, you know, on our labor and on what we consume. There's a tax on everything we do. So, you know, and then about time they shut down, isn't that what the truckers are going to do? Shut down Washington, D.C. They breached the trust from the day they got here. Yes, they have. Since the day they wrote that constitution, they breached the people's trust. You see, they use that word freedom, and you've never been free. They use it, and you also use it kind of loosely, because the only way you'll ever be free is to take responsibility for what's going on around you. And that's to prepare. And so when you are, in the future, the ancestors, they will look back upon you and say, look how responsible my ancestors were to protect us from this fascist, communist tyranny. Now, I suppose if we the people turn our back on this mind control system, the media will still participate, even though they're paid by our taxes. And um, there'll probably be a false flag. But this time when the people get hurt, let's take those families in and let's teach them what's really going on. Let's not make a big deal about of it, point fingers or go to another war. Let's turn on who's doing it. Because it's about time we did that. It's about time we turned our backs on this empire system that all they want to do is scare somebody into giving them more of what we don't have. We don't have it. Nobody has anything. People are making it day by day, week by week. So, isn't this what you've wanted? I have for a long time. Shoot, man, I'll, I'll take responsibility for what needs to go on around here so I can live freer. Haven't been free a day in my life. Have you? If you have, then you must be on the Empire side. Um... Because certainly, I hope they do shut down, close that door, and we can just go in. I tell you what, there's some ideas we were throwing around. We could even go to them underground bunkers, you know. Maybe free them aliens, everybody says, are stashed down there. Because if they're stashed down there, they're probably being held hostage. I don't think they'd approve of that. That's just a joke, folks. But seriously, all them underground bunkers, people say, you know, everybody would be up in arms. There'd be civil war. Go to them bunkers and take the food. I mean, somebody would know how to blow one of them doors open. They couldn't be that, you know, foolproof. The government. Whose side would they go on if the people turned on, on uh, I mean, the military? Whose side would they be on if all the people turned away from the mind control? Well, certainly they'd be on our side. They're already turning on our side. So, let's get this done. Let's get it over with. I'm ready. I mean, this sounds dramatic to you, but they do this all the time. It's a scare tactic. I bet on October 1st that CNN, NBC, all them little channel, ABC channels, they'll be on trying to scare people. They do it every time. They'll say Social Security checks won't be sent out and people won't have health insurance and um, you name it, and what, it, what and that's even a cognitive dissonance disorder right there. Doesn't Obamacare start that day? I mean, 
Somebody needs to just slap that fool, get him out of there. But he didn't come up with that idea. It's been coming for a long time. I mean, these are all... This is a corporation. It has CEOs. They sit around a desk. They're playing their part. They're actors and actresses. And they're doing a really fine job to scare Americans. Well, some of us. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> I still have a bug here. But um, the thing is, is that's what we've been wanting. I'm ready for it. I think we could do a lot. I mean, we could probably clean up some of the radiation and all that stuff. Kick every corporation that has been against the people out of this country or of this continent. I'm serious. Of North America. It's start, time to start acting responsible. Don't pass the buck because you've got grandkids. And if you don't have grandkids, someone else you know does. I take responsibility for what the future has. I am not a free person. I'm never going to say I believe in freedom because I've never known it. And they, they twist that word and use it with flags and ceremonies and put your hand and shield your heart. Never shield your heart. Keep that hand away from shielding your heart. That is the biggest sap I've ever seen. Even policemen use little stars and little badges over their heart. It shields their heart. You never shield your heart. Your heart's where love comes from. It's, it's, it's a place that you should never shield. Don't ever do that. Don't ever put your hand over your heart and say some kind of oath to some mind control, psyop thing that sucks the life force out of us all. We're such creative, tolerant peoples. Now, let's stand up and root them on. Come on, shut down. We dare you. And we got a place for you to go to. Peace, love, truth. Leave your comments below. Just trying to put some insight, reality, and a little humor in this. Okay? Really, think about it. How many times in your life have you heard this? Don't you wish once it really would happen? No salaries. They don't get no artificial money. You know, that fake crap that we have to exchange with. It'd be nice to see them just go, bye, bye, and I'm out of here. Bye.